Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com and here it is, it's in our hot little hands. It is the Asus Transformer Prime, or the Prime for short. That's what we're going to call it. Get used to it. So here's the deal. This is a refinement of the uh, original Asus ePad Transformer that we saw come out earlier this year. Was it April? Back in the spring. And boy has it been improved. So let's start kind of on superficial stuff on the outside. So gone is the textured back that I kind of dinged it for a little bit, or maybe not enough, I don't know, just made it feel a little bit cheap. They've gone for this kind of brushed metal feel. I'm not quite, I mean, it's not an aluminum feel, right? It's not quite as cold as, say, the iPad 2, but it definitely has, uh, you know, metallic spun finish is what they're calling it. So it's nice, I like it. It can be scratched, mine actually came with a tiny little ding on it, and it is a little smudge prone, but it's also very nice. Uh, so back here on the back, you have an eight megapixel camera with flash. You have one speaker, gone are the uh, stereo speakers on either side, which is unfortunate, but I can live with it because I can just plug in headphones here on the 3.5 millimeter jack. On the other side, we have micro HDMI, we have the volume rocker, we have a micro SD card. Uh, our review unit at least didn't come with one, so that's just a little dummy thing in there. Up top, you've got a little pinhole mic, and we have the power button with a tiny little light you can't see in it right now, but when it's plugged in, uh, it will light up to show that it is in fact charging. So flip it over here to the front and we have your kind of usual 10.1 inch display. It doesn't look all that out of the ordinary. Another big bezel, so that hasn't changed, which is unfortunate, but we can live with it. You've got a 1.2 megapixel camera on the front there. So let's turn it on and remember this is running Honeycomb. It's launching with Android 3.2. Uh, it will absolutely will be upgraded to uh, ice cream sandwich nvidia has already shown it off running ice cream sandwich so everything you see here at some point will change <laughs> so right now i've got the uh, updated uh, water live wallpaper on here so this actually the water level changes as your battery life goes down very very cool uh, a lot of this will look reminiscent from the original uh, transformer so you've got the same kind of widget here with the weather and the uh, date and the time and all that and your unread emails going through the uh, home screens is very quick. This is very, very cool. So this is the Asus Mizine uh, widget, and it's just, just a big thing of shortcuts. Unread emails, events, uh, books in your library, weather, uh, recent uh, web page that you visited, recent music you've listened to, and then you see over here, it is actually scrolling through the pictures we've taken. So you'll see these pictures in the review. Very, very cool widget. I like that a lot. Down at the bottom, we've got some of the apps that are preloaded. Again, kind of the usual stuff from Asus uh, that we saw in the original Transformer and on the ePad slider. Um, here is another widget. I don't have the keyboard dock plugged in right now, but it's a cool battery widget. So it shows the uh, Transformer, it's, or the Transformer, the Prime itself in the battery level. And then the keyboard dock, if that's plugged in, uh, you will see that there as well. App drawer, usual stuff, nothing really out of the ordinary there. What is really cool about this though, of course, is the stuff inside. So this is the world's first production Tegra 3 tablet. It's a quad core device. It's not just quad core, it's actually got a fifth, count them, one, two, three, four, five cores in it. It's got a fifth companion core that runs much lower clock speed, only goes up to 500 megahertz. Uh, and it takes care of all the low level stuff. So like as we're tooling around the UI here, that's being done by the companion core and not the quad core uh, processor. So let's fire up a game here and just give you kind of a demo. We've seen all these before on uh, some of uh, NVIDIA's demos, but man, it is nice. So Riptide is a game we've seen before, and this is one of the first ones I loaded up on here because I love it. It's a really fun game, and so when you're playing it, you're like, well, what's going to be different, right? So the graphics will be a little better, and that's true, but what they really do is come at you, and, the, and they're going to come toward your face here. The first thing I want you to notice, you know, all the different little shadings. It's kind of tough to tell on video. Uh, but when you hit this little boost thing here, you're going to watch everything kind of go blurry. And again, that's quad core. You can see me back there. That's quad core in action. Now something else that's uh, specific to Riptide here. See if we can get water to splash up on us and see water comes and splashes toward the screen. Really gives it a nice three-dimensional effect. Uh, another one let's take a look at real quick here is global so we've seen this in demos from uh, nvidia take a second to launch and here it is so we'll just do the uh, carnival game level it's kind of a tough game as far as games go but uh does a really good job of showing off the graphics power really i'm glad you're watching this video go out and play with these yourself 
That is the best thing you can do to experience this. Takes a little while to load, here we go. So we have a ball and we're gonna roll it around and look at the lighting coming out of the ball. Everything going on in the background. It is pretty incredible. You can do auto camera, you can do split screen. Pretty, pretty impressive stuff. Of course, that's only half of it. So let's show you the other half. Okay, and here is the optional keyboard dock. And I want to show you this by itself for a second because it's really, really nice. Uh, very, again, reminiscent of the original keyboard dock from the original Transformer. So the tablet will slide in here. You've got a little lock mechanism to keep everything in place. The keys are chiclet keys again. So they have a nice little travel to them. Nice little click, not bad. The uh, trackpad has been redone a little bit, so it used to be a separate button down here at the bottom. Now it is all one piece. It's still fairly clickable. It's not great, not the world's perfect trackpad. Trackpads are so tough to do well, though. This one's not bad. Uh, what else do you have on this? So we've got your little power port here, the same power plug that you use on the tablet. Once the tablet's plugged in, you'll plug it in here. you got a little light there that turns on. Look how this really comes down to a fine point here on this bottom edge. So much, much thinner than a... Uh, than the original dock. On this side we have a full size SD card slot. Music, movies, photos, whatever you want. We have a full size USB port, which is protected by a rubber foot. There's also uh, two rubber feet on the tablet that you'll have to take off before you can dock it in here. You will absolutely lose these. So just either resign yourself to that fact or never take them off. Though once they are off, they're pretty easy to put back on. Um, what else on the dock? So you've got special keys up top, so back, home, search, menu, just like you would have on a normal Android device. You also have these shortcut keys, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, turn the trackpad off and on if you don't want to use it. We've got brightness keys, auto brightness, camera, internet, settings. Uh, you can also use one of the keys to take screenshots if you want. Lock, so that will unlock the screen. Really, really nice. So let's just show you how it pops in, and it really is simple. I've already taken the feet off, and the whole thing just pops in thusly. You hear a little ding like you're on an airplane, and suddenly you have a cursor. So if you can see it on the video here, there is a little cursor, and it will control things, just like normal. It's almost like having your finger up there, except for you using a trackpad. Very cool. Now, the screen still works. You can still touch things if you want which is cool. Um, oh, we haven't showed you this yet. So here is the new little quick settings thing that uh, Asus has customized. It's excellent. So if you've seen the other parts of this video or of the uh, review yet, you've seen a couple of these. So we actually have three power settings on the entire tablet. You have power saving mode, balanced mode, and normal speed mode. Now I'm not quite sure how much you're really going to want to worry about those on a daily basis as you're using this. ASUS says it will just help extend battery life even further. So bear that in mind. Uh, you've got rotation lock, Wi-Fi on and off, and Bluetooth on and off. Uh, here is your dimmer switch. So you can slide that up and down. You can also set it to auto brightness. And as we showed in another part of this review, it's also got a super IPS button. So that will uh, make the screen even brighter, takes it up to a full 600 nits if you want. It's really only supposed to be used outside. And since we're outside, it's a beautiful day, I wanted to shoot this outside, we'll leave it on for a second. But it will start to chew through battery. Uh, speaking of battery, you'll see here we actually have two battery lives. So remember, there is a battery tucked into the uh, keyboard dock as well as a battery in the tablet. And then if you wanted to get to the full settings, you push that, and there we go. As long as we're here, about tablet, see Android 3.2.1, storage. We have the 32 gigabyte version. This will come in a 32 gig or 64 gig version for $400 or $500 respectively. The dock, another $150. So it is not cheap. So that's kind of it for the Transformer Prime. Really the big thing here is you can uh, play these games and they are excellent. You have a full size, almost full size keyboard. You have a full size USB port. This is very cool. We're going to show you more on this in a second, the things you can do with it. Uh, you can plug in a full-size keyboard, you can plug in a full-size mouse, you can plug in a full-size gamepad. How awesome is that? So there you go, guys. A quick look at the Asus Transformer Prime. See you later.